Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how you can mark the active page on your navigation menu so a user always has an indication of which page they are on. Okay, so I've got this basic page set up and I've got three dummy navigation menus on here, page one, two, and three. And the HTML for this is, is not very complicated. We'll come back to this in a little bit. But I've just I've just got three navigation menus created from unordered lists. And so that I could style them differently, each one does have a unique identif identification. And then on my CSS, most of this is not the focus for this demo, but I've got my uh, CSS reset rule, and then I've got a few generic aesthetic CSS rules in here just to control things. And then I've got a number of CSS rules that control the various characteristics of each of the three navigation menus. Now, what I'd like to do next is I've only got one page, and I've got my active page indicator one. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And in fact, I will, I guess actually be easier to do it this way too. Let me do it just a file save as. And I'm going to save this three times. There's my indicator 2.html, and I'll do a file save as indicator 2, and that's page 2 is saved. Page 1 has page 1, page 3 has page 3. So if these are all saved, I should be able to test out my menu. There's page 1, there's page 2, and there's page 3. And of course, all the navigation menus should work. Page two, page one, page one, page two, page three. Excellent. Okay, so now let's mark the active page. Here's the big trick to this. And let me put these in order. Page one, page two, and page three is over there. So on page one, in the body section, notice I have ID page one. On page two, I'm gonna put ID page two, and on page three, I'm going to have ID page three. This is a critical step because now I can format a particular hyperlink, link one, in a special way if it is within page one. Link one will not be formatted in a special way if it's within page two. So this is going to allow you to format the active page. So I head over to my CSS and I say, look, page one space in fact I'm not even on the right page here let's jump back over to the CSS file create a new rule page one link one and we'll do something really simple at first just so you can see this in action okay font weight bold excellent so whenever link one is within page one we're gonna get a bold weight Head back to my browser and refresh. Since I'm on page three, you don't see anything, but as soon as I go to page one, you'll notice we have bold text, bold text, bold text, okay? Now to format this for the other pages, I can just copy this and make a grouped selector, basically. Paste and paste. And then we'll have page two link to page three, link three. So whenever link three is in page three, whenever link two is within page two, whenever link one is in page one, we're gonna have bold text. Save, browser, refresh. Now page two is bold, now page three is, oh, my page three is not working, so I must have a little typo in there somewhere. And things are looking pretty good here. So it could actually be in the HTML of page three. Here we go, let me make sure page three is saved. It may not have been, body ID is incorrect. So let's make sure page three has body ID page three. There we go, everything's looking good there. Let's try this again. Refresh, now our page three has our bold indication. And of course we can go a step further with this. And this is, in addition to that font weight, we can do a, a background color, nice bright yellow. So now the active page has that yellow background. And of course, you could do all kinds of things. You could have an arrow show up. You could have a bold underline show up, a border. So although my navigation menus are pretty plain and ugly here, um, this is a real simple way to put an active page indication. And kind of all sites should do this. And you'll even see, even on a subtle way, if we get over to Apple, my, one of my favorite demo pages, 
you know, of course, when I hover over, I get a reaction. But if I click on something like the iPod page, look at my navigation menu. You see, I have active page indication. Now, they're doing something very similar to us. They're changing a background image, though, instead of a background color. So they're just altering the background image of the active page so that you always know what page you're on in the navigation menu.